You get the drift. It is Champions League draw time. Let's go. Okay, so we are probably in the last pot, right? Yeah, that is uh, that's scary. But uh, so I guess we can just actually fast forward a little bit and then see see if anything funky is there to be taken. Um, so yeah, uh, it looks alright. Barca, Ajax, Olympic, eh, it's alright. Anyone we really, really? Uh, there's not really any like groups of death yet, is there? I guess Bayern, Chelsea, and Benfica are. It's pretty tough. Obviously, we can't go in that one. I have a sneaky feeling we're going to get put in the Barca one, but let us see. So, we can get in the first one. Let's see. New. You ever see? Oh, Stuttgart. Okay. So, we can't get in this one, obviously. This one we can get into. It has a Turkish team, so I'm pretty sure, actually, we, we, we're definitely going to get in that one. What? No. Okay, Spartak Inter <coughs> Marseille. That's probably one of the kindest ones, to be fair. Let's see. Okay, we can't get into Liverpool, Wolfsburg, so it's, ooh. well, I guess there's only one option left. We can't go in Group H because of Chelsea, so PSG, Napoli, Dynamo, Kiev. That is a bit of a yikes one, yeah. Anything funky going on otherwise? Pretty straightforward, many other groups, right? Uh, I mean, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and then poor FC Copenhagen. That is going to be a pounding for them, sadly. Um... Ours is actually pretty tough, in it? Napoli, PSG. I mean, PSG are obviously amazing, but Napoli good, too. And Dynamo Kiev is always, like, a bit of a, hmm, a difficult team to play. Oh, I noticed Bilbao is in there. That's lovely. I love a good old Bilbao. Bayern, Chelsea, Benfica, and PSV. That is a bit of a, uh, a tough one for, well, all of them, but... Whew, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's just continue, and then let's see, because I want to... I, I have no idea what, I'm, uh, what matches I'm going to show you. Let's just see. Oh, so the first match is actually in a few days. Boom. I think we're going to do that. So, roll the intro and then we'll be back for some Champions League action. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back, friends. For some more Danish dynamite with your Earl here, Mr. Viking, are you crazy? Viking Overlord or whatever. Uh, today we, yeah, embark on our Champions League, well, drama, I don't know, probably drama, because some, one thing I did notice, by the way, uh, maybe you did, uh, we actually played Dynamo Kiev in the first season, if you can recall, and, um, and uh, yeah, I recall <laughs> winning 4-3 in the most dramatic of scenes ever, like, that match was just Bonkers, absolutely bonkers, and then a one-nil win as well. It's like, so we have a decent record with him, but yeah, it could be very dramatic. And uh, yeah, since we last met, well, it was the defeat to Lu Liverpool where also a bit of drama happened. Then we followed up by getting smashed by Newcastle because, of course, we always get smashed by Newcastle. Newcastle sucks, and uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what team I play; they're always difficult. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've been on a good run lately. So well, ever since actually, um, we are one, two, three, four, five win straight in the Premier League and then a Carabao Cup win as well versus Fulham which of course was followed by well it was Fulham versus Fulham uh, yeah like it always happens but yeah it's been going decently and I really am trying to like incorporate all the youngsters into the team this season which is a bit strange that's probably also why the results are a bit shady here and there and some of the matches are honestly us playing really really badly and then I just have to kind of I, I get fed up and then I swap on the big boys and then we eventually win but as you can see, one player that's been doing really well is Mr. Jakob Boon Larsen, who scored, what's that, one, two, three, four. Four goals in the last what, uh, four matches, which is really, really good, especially considering he's too tired to play, so that's good. But uh, yeah, let's get into the game at least. And this is the team that's going to play. Like I said, Mr. Boon Larsen cannot play, so Damsgaard is going to take his place. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's Mele at right back, and then Kerstin Nelson Poulsen at the back. Hoibia at Nazi playing. Like, like I said, Nazi is going to be my first starter. Eriksen in this one. I want a good, I want a good uh, result away from Kiev. It's going to be a difficult one. We, we need to beat Kiev, so I'm going to play Eriksen. Dell on the left, who's kind of taken his chance, like uh, and played really, really well in the last few games. So I'm going to stick him out there on the left. So yeah, why not? And use a Paulson up front. Like I said, I this is a very important game for me, so I'm not going to gamble too much on the youngsters. Um, so yeah, full strength, kind of. Then Robin Goal, of course, who is now our first choice keeper. Pure and simple. Now, the Kiev team looks actually pretty familiar, especially with Danish eyes. As you can see, they actually have Yannick Vestergaard 
who they bought from Wolves, and then, of course, still, Mikkel Doolon, who's now been there for five years. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, of course, he plays there in real life, which is, you know, pretty cool. It's not every day you know, one of your players just randomly goes to Ukraine, right? And they also have Joe Rodon. Hmm, interesting, but, uh, yeah, let's get him. Right, and we are off. <coughs> now, I will say the transfer window just died, or ended, or whatever, and, uh, yeah, not a lot has happened. Uh, a lot of interest from my players, but no bids, so, meh, whatever, we'll see. Maybe in the winter. I mean, there is in still interest for Yusuf Paulson from Arsenal. Delaney's been, you know, linked with all sorts. And Christensen wants to leave, but no one is bidding on him. So, I mean, what's the point? So, yeah, let's see in the winter. As we are apparently launching a counterattack, Yusuf Paulson, go! Oh, if it hit the dump score there, that would have been amazing. But we keep the ball. Nice ball. Okay, Eriksson, cross it, please. Ooh, dump score! Mikkel Damsko with the goal. Playing on the right wing this time, of course, which is not his preferred, but yeah. Well done, lads. Very well done. Let's see this again. So, yeah. It was just a great play here, but I was. He should have crossed it first time, right, Eriksson? I was worried he would lose it there, but nice composure from him and nice, uh, I don't know, vision and then just easy prod home from Damsko. Nazi wins the ball, and now Damsko is on it again. Is he gonna. Make an assist this time? I mean, why not? Oh, no, not like this. Okay, okay. We we get the ball. Nice and easy. Don't get a good counter on Mele, who looks to be on fire this game. Del! Oh, my God. I mean, it somehow ends to Paulson. Dealt with the assist. That was great. Was that actually intentional from Del? Like, did he actually just headed it down to him? Or... Let's see. So, yeah. We bring it for Mele, who's just been playing really, really well. I love him as a right back. And Hoibia, and then Del. Yeah, he actually kind of heads it down. Yeah, nicely done for launching a bit of an attack I think no we actually win the ball now is just gonna drive it forward go on lad it's oh you ran offside there that was silly but yeah, okay we keep the ball nice and easy so many <sighs> not like that but yeah okay they are so deep defending so they can't even they've seen that like three or four times now already they can't they try and launch a counter attack but there's no one up there melee to that I mean a bit random there but yeah good, good keeping I guess Ooh, I just, the last tick there before the halftime, everyone just went orange on like the, 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 you know, the fitness thing. Let's just go and check what's going on. Nah, they've kind of recovered a little bit, so yeah, I'm gonna stick with the same for now, and uh, yeah, just calm down. Narty now has the ball, he's been, and Melee, Melee has just been everywhere, right? Dumps go, oh, that was a great goal, I mean, Melee to Dumps go. Holy moly. I was really sad when I left, uh, let Mr. Vasco, go, but Mele, he's just re performing really well. He's just, maybe it's just some sort of right, right back thingy that, um, yeah, the way I play really favors the, the full backs. But yeah, Mele, great ball there, and then Dump score, great, great finish. De Del is actually kind of struggling again, so, okay. After this highlight, we're probably gonna make a save. Uh, save? Uh, oh, hopefully a save as well, but I'm definitely gonna make a change. Okay, Narty again, he just loves it. Go on, oh, good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going. Hoibia, and Eriksson, Eriksson, Eriksson actually scored a goal. I mean, you know it's going well when Eriksson scores goals. Great, it seems to always start with Narty, right? He just, uh, look, there we go. He always just wins the ball or something, and then he drives it forward. That is great. Of course, I'm playing him as a Masala, which is new in, uh, am I? Actually, I, I may be talking bull crap. Let's, let's find out as we're making a change. Now, he is a deep line playmaker on this side. If he plays on the, as I'm pointing with my finger, lol. Uh, if he plays on the right side, he's a Misala. But I like having a box to box there. Well, I like having Hoibia and he's a box to box. Okay, let's get Del off. Let's get Darami on because, frankly, why not? Okay, I left. Oh, let's get Opasco on as left back then. That is perfect. Because Paulson was also struggling a little bit as we have. Built from the back, Dumps got to X, and great ball to Paulson. I mean, that is beautiful. Literally beautiful. Wow. Yeah, great from Dumpscore here. Well, I mean, yeah, and then Ericsson, that ball is just, it's a sugar ball, as we would call it in Danish. Wow, and finish is great. It really has been down the right side, hasn't it? I mean, impressive stuff. Okay, Dynamo Kiev is coming for Andone, who's a bit of a... The Romanian wonder kid. I don't know if he is in this match, uh, in this, uh, 29. <laughs> okay, that was probably ages ago. He was a wonder kid. Okay, let's make the last change because frankly, well, everyone is pretty knackered. So what do we even do? What do we even do? Hoibia, maybe? 
Nah, melee. We don't really have any players to put on. I mean, okay, let's just put uh, Delaney on instead of Narty. Like, I did want to, I, I wanted to put on some sort of youngster, but at the positions that were knackered, I kind of didn't really have anyone to put on. So let's just get Delaney on there to to win some balls and hopefully just see this game out. Um, be nice to have a clean sheet for a change. That doesn't happen very often, but Bulbad is now driving it forward to Shaparenko. Okay. Just calm down, let's focus. Also, oh yeah, they have Joe Linton randomly, which I kind of like. <laughs> that was an interesting pass from the goalkeeper, but yeah. Okay, we win the ball, and then Paulson is now... I mean, we're just... We're just toy what the... Uh, yeah, right? It looked in. I think that's goal, goal line technology or something there. Wow. Wow, what a finish. Okay, to Paulson, and with the chest again, and Eriksen is involved, and then with his left foot, he's right foot, remember, and it's off the post and then into, uh, off the bar, and on the, wow. I mean, hat trick from Mr. Dump's goal, wow. That was unexpected. Holy moly. 5 0 win, right? They deserve a medal, yeah, definitely deserve a medal. Well done, lads. No, 6 0, wait, 6 0. Oh, I mean, I, I couldn't even remember. That's how great it was. Well then, 2.46 million for that, and Eric's is in top form. Three assists on a 10. I mean, you've been superb. Yeah, you definitely have. Right, well, uh, I think we're just going to skip to the Everton game in uh, three match, uh, three days, and then play that, and then we'll do some more Champions League for the next episode. So, uh, be right back. Right. Well, I did promise you the Everton game, but uh, and I did record it, and I did commentate everything, but... Literally nothing happened. There were two highlights in the entire game and there were headers that just went wide. Look how m much we dominated. I mean, it, uh, unless you count yellow cars, they definitely dominated there. But uh, what a boring game. So literally, I'm just going to bring you the next game, which is Champions League versus PSG, if I remember correctly. So look forward to that. Right, well, it's PSG time instead, because frankly, why not? It's a Champions League special, I guess, this time. So uh, yeah, I accidentally just did all the talking and stuff and then hadn't press record, so uh, let's we'll just go through it again, shall we? Uh, it's going to be Melee, Kresnes and Nelson, Paulson at the back with Stenor, Hoibia, and then Nazi, who's back, is going to start in the middle. Bull Larsen is back for good, so he's going to go on the right midfielder, because, well, Damsko then goes to the left, because frankly, I mean, he scored a hat-trick. Not in the last game, but the game you saw, and then Eriksen Paulson. Uh, we're already in the, like, the pre-thing, and uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to show you the PSG lineup because it's pretty terrifying. I mean, they have Alexander... Isaac up front, and of course Mbappe on the left, they have this guy who I'm not familiar with, but looks absolutely amazing, Everton Kebolinha. <sighs> they also have Joshua Kimmich at right back, I mean, five-star current ability. Who's their goalkeeper? Luis Mexiliano, I mean, yikes, of course, and uh, yeah, their team is pretty scary, but um, let's, let's hope for a good performance, right? We are at home, so there is a chance. But, uh, yeah, I am not expecting too much. I think Mbappe is going to have a field day with us uh, and our high-pressing lines and all that. But, do you know what? I'm brave. I'm going to go for them. Just as I finish that sentence, with Von Larsen get injured. Uh, well, well, let's, let's just, just put what's go on. on. He's probably our best player in terms of ability and stuff like that. So, let's just keep it pretty good right now, right? And uh, of course, he is well familiar out there. Okay, as we are trying to build a little. Ooh, uh, yeah, not those risky passes, please. When they have Mr. Mbappe. Of course. What? What was that from from Hoybia? I mean, don't run away. Oh, great tackle. Okay, okay, he heard me. Scout now driving it for. Ooh, Paulson is in. He's in, and he scores. Oh, that is so important. And I'm glad. Wow, I'm glad we get to see that, because that was some great defending there from Hoybia. That tackle on Mbappe, of all people. And then Scott just smashes it forward to our own Mbappe, Mr. Yusuf Paulson. Great goal. Okay, P Ooh, no, Mele now steals it from Mbappe. Ooh, Mbappe is just crap. Like, the worst play Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Everton on the right. Uh, ooh, Hoybia? Come on, lad. Are you going to be involved in both? Okay, never mind. Uh, no one, no one saw that. No one saw that. No, that doesn't even exist. Virati with the free kick. Nice bend there. Terrible to defend that one. Mbappe out on the left. Ooh, don't give him too much space. 
Yeah, it is tense. I mean, we are we are doing well. It's bloody PSG. I mean, this is the same highlight. It's just them building at the back, and now they're finally driving it forward. And Bobby, yeah, just keep shooting from there. That is fine. Fine by me. Another devilish free kick. Come on, step up. Well done. I look tense. And then find a red guy. A red shirt. At oh, that was tense as well. Dump's gone out. Driving it forward. Go on, lad. Yeah, you need some help there. Nicely done. Oh, great play. But yeah, they are per Paulson. Go on, lad. What? I didn't. I wasn't even looking at the ball there. I was looking at the man in the middle there, ready for it. Um, let's see if it's going to be a penalty. Right, and it's actually a penalty. I, I like I said, I didn't even. I wasn't even really watching him. I was more watching in the middle for an open guy. Okay, let's see. Skull. Oh no, not skull. He. Oh, <gasps> good penalty though. Good penalty. Yes. <laughs> Did he do the chicken wings? Blah 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 blah. I love it. Good penalty, lad. I mean, we don't need to see it again. But uh, yeah. Well, this is very surprising, as we're just, I mean, we are just playing with them now, okay. Ah, I, I had to say it, didn't I? Isaac, yeah, just shoot from there. <gasps> no, not like that! You go! So frustrating, right? So frustrating. We play so well, and then it's <clears throat> the most random of randomness in the world. I mean, this happens to all of us all the time. It's a great sliding tackle, and then, <clears throat> I mean, so that's, that's the only way they can create chances. <clears throat> Furious, but yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna say, where is it? Don't get complacent out there. Yes, and then I'm gonna say I'm very happy. Seems to work, but uh, yeah. Verati, we've seen this before, right? Okay, melee. Oh, is it gonna amount to a counter attack? Are we gonna spring one on them? Go on. I mean, you have a lot to do from there, but. Verati with another tail. Oh. <laughs> That was tense. Right, 20 minutes to go, and we are starting to get a little bit knackered, and also, like, Damsko is not playing very well, so we may as well go. Oh, I only have two left. I, I only just realized. Well, let's get Dell on. Let's save the last one a little bit, but yeah. I know, PSG are now building all the way from the back, and then Bobby just, just keep shooting from there. <laughs> Great tackle. Great tackle from Nelson there. And thankfully, no one was, it wasn't just randomly falling to, to a PSG player and who could then score with an open goal, basically. But they're keeping the pressure on Par Paradise or whatever. Ah, come on. I mean, it's a great shot. Can you really blame, well, anyone for it? <sighs> great shot there. Okay, let's see again. Kimmich is involved. Paradise, also, he actually heads it down himself to Ratti then. I mean, it's a great play, and yeah, we we just get torn apart. <gasps> okay, there's a corner, but I will make another change because some our players are just knackered. And let's put Delaney on for Narty. Narty's not even having a good game, so and he's knackered, so may as well. <sighs> okay, not like this, lads. Let's not just throw this away like muppets. Uh, go on, we got this. Go on. Come on then, Melee. Someone wants it. Del oh, Narchi. Narchi! Oh, what a goal that would have been. But yeah, now of course he's off the pitch, so... Oh, heartbreak. Well, maybe not a heartbreak, but... I mean, before the match started, I definitely would have taken a point, right? It's bloody PSG, but... The way the match ended, or it, like, went... Like, I think we played some lovely football. A silly goal for Mbappe, it's just completely random, and then a screamer from I don't know how long. It's a bit frustrating, right? But I think we showed I should I think we showed the world that we play some lovely football, which is good I guess. So let's just say Yeah, you were unlucky. I mean no one gives a toss, so whatever. Ah, that's football for you, blah 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 blah, yeah. Right, well we are joint top of the group at least, but uh yeah. Boon Larsen is now injured. Five to seven days. That's not the end of the world, at least. Uh, yeah. And our next match is in four days versus City. I mean, our schedule, let, let's take a look, is pretty brutal. So it's City, then it's Napoli, then it's Arsenal. Then it becomes a little easier, but then, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, down here as well, we have Chelsea, Liverpool, and Tottenham, then United away. So, 
pretty tricky fixtures here and there, but um, yeah, not overall too, not too bad, I think. Uh, ideally, I mean, we almost just want to finish third, right, and go to the Europa Cup and uh, Europa League or whatever, and try and win that one because uh, why not? I don't think we stand a chance in the Champions League, but you know, we'll go for it. We'll give it our best shot, but uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode, because the next episode, I mean, I'm just going to fast forward four days, and then we'll play City and Napoli, so, um, yeah, that'll be tomorrow for you guys, but in half an hour for me, so, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the show, and uh, just like and subscribe and all that, and, uh, yeah, back for more, ciao!